Hoodie. What they don't teach at teacher's school. How to see. She stands in the open doorway, pinching at the long sleeves of her hoodie. Hides angry slashes forming thin relief lines in her flesh. Exercises in tangential geometry. Eyes down, praying I don't notice the private world where hell is real, disguised as classmates who sneer and friends who aren't. Where halls are gauntlets of judgment. She says she'll be at the dentist next Monday and asks for the homework, please. Comments, today's video was cool. I ask what else is going on. Eyes look to each side of each foot, wishing they could stay put, that their natural state of running would stop long enough for her to say, I am here. Where cold meals and abandonment settle into mortar for walls I'm trying to cut through one thin line at a time. I can't, but I'm trying to get to someone like you, but I can't. The digging's too hard for this shard of metal that begs for a baptism running in cold crimson spirals toward the drain that is my life. But, she says, nothing. Feet carrying her away. At teacher's school, they teach the following. Plan, practice, prep. Teach, drill, homework, test, but not how to make a difference. They don't teach that at teacher's school. There's a broken binder that stares at me from a dusty drawer. Unfinished works on a velvet pillow in a casket where peer pressure and perfection met in a final metaphor. Lunch bunch. Middle school. Notebooks open, pencils scratching, punching, kicking, conquering symbolism, and fan fiction. Jenny sat right there. God, if I see one more vampire story, I'm going to puke, she says. What bullshit, they sparkle? And who needs a man to complete her? Raw, unrefined talent. Pinched pencils strained against limited experience. Words willed into being. Tomorrow's stacked with poems singing sapphic joy. Balanced on the precipice, tipping into final rest. Her words carried off on simple chrome handles. This unfinished notebook. That chair. They don't teach it in teacher's school how to actually see, do they? Wait, please, I say. Feet turn, I search, I reach out. Something I'm not supposed to do. Gently pull up a sleeve an inch or two. Does it hurt? Silence for a space. From her eyes, tiny stars gather and spill onto mules unaccustomed to standing still. Yes, that's the point. The words spiral up and out, and I don't ask why, because why is not so much a question as an indictment that implies a transgression, and this isn't a tool learned at teacher's school. They don't teach it there. It's learned in the open doorways where they stand, pinching at the long sleeves of their hoodies.